It's the most wonderful time of the year, and students at Emerson Elementary got a double dose of holiday spirit. We also got news from the Black College Expo, Nathan Hale, and Broadhue Thompson K-8. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hi, I'm Principal Mackey of Cascadia Elementary School. And, and the, the dragons are taking over First Bell! Hi, SPS. I'm Celeste. And I'm Rhea. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with the news from around the district. It's a Cascadia Elementary takeover, and we've got some awesome stories to share. So let's get into it. Free coats and shoes and rain gardens. Oh, my. Emerson Elementary had the best week ever in November when students received new winter gear and opened a rain garden on the campus. Maya has more. It's not every day that schools receive multiple special gifts in one week, but Emerson students who run for a treat when community partners showed the school some love. Last month, Amazon joined forces with Operation Warm and the Seattle Seahawks and gifted nearly 1,000 winter coats, gloves, hats, and shoes to students at Emerson, Highland Park, and Olympic View Elementaries. Miles Adams, a defensive end for the Seahawks, stopped by Emerson to hand out gear and to read to students. Being in the position that I'm in now to give back to kids and just to be that face for them, it means the world to me. Uh, it's really fun and obviously the Operation Warm, what they're doing with Amazon and doing with the Seahawks, giving back is really phenomenal and it's really cool to make an impact in somebody's life. Later in that same week, Emerson unveiled new cisterns that showcased the artwork of second grade class and a garden area that provides an outdoor learning space for students. You know, learning doesn't just happen in the school building. Um, math and science and STEM and all of those things can be happening outdoors and that's how we're looking to use it. A huge thanks to all our community partners who make things like this happen for our schools. This is my reporting for First Belt. Back to our studio. Dozens of SPS students flocked to the Black College Expo at Rainier Beach High School when more than $7 million in scholarships were handed out. The Expo wasn't all about securing the bag. Attendees were able to learn about historically black colleges and universities, black sororities and fraternities, and audition for an HBCU band. The entire event was a celebration of black excellence and black culture. The joy that's happening here right now is because our students, one, get to see that there are colleges out there that want them, that look like them, that understand the culture, that have a history in our community, and they're being accepted. Seeing all these people here, that tells us that it's not only needed, but it's wanted. In other news, Dr. William Jackson, the principal at Nathan Hale High School, was named this year's Washington State Secondary Principal of the Year. Jackson was selected based on his justice-centered approach that leads to high engagement in learning and strong academic outcomes. Jackson will compete with winners from other states for the National Principal of the Year Award. The Seattle School Board welcomed two new members and two returning ones at a swearing-in ceremony on November 29th. Evan Briggs and Gina Topp won two of the seats that were up for grabs during the general election on November 7th. Briggs will represent District 3, which serves Northeast Seattle. Topp will represent District 6, which covers West Seattle and South Park. Incumbents Liza Rankin and Lisa Rivera were both re-elected to serve new terms. Students, families, and staff at Broadview Thompson K-8 gathered to celebrate the opening of the school's new Family Resource Center. The center represents how schools and community organizations can collaborate to support students and families who experience housing, food, and other instability. Family Work staff will be at Broadview Thompson three days a week. Hi, I'm Ada, here to bring you some important information. You don't want to miss these announcements, so get ready for the rundown. The Right Now Needs Fund is a program that helps SBS students and families meet their immediate basic needs by covering the cost for food, clothing, housing, and utilities. If you or someone you know needs support, reach out to your principal, family support worker, or school counselor. Winter is coming, and you know what that means? Bad weather! Families of students who ride the school bus will receive information through their mail. It includes your snow route, bus stop location, and times. 
This year, families will be able to access yellow bus snow routes through their parent or guardian account on the source. And one last reminder, all schools will be closed from December 18th to January 1st for winter break. Students will be dismissed an hour early on Friday, December 15th. School will resume on Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. We'll see you in the new year. You can learn more about these announcements on our district website. Back to our studio. Before we go, we want to remind you that enrollment for the 2024-25 school year begins January 2nd. Explore your possibilities in the SPS by attending the admissions fair on January 27th. And be sure to tune in for our next episode where more SPS students take over the broadcast. Can you guess where First Bell is heading next? Here's a hint, it's in the center of the city. Hmm, I wonder where it is. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. Until next time, I'm Celeste. And I'm Rhea. We'll catch you later for First Bell.